Our lead story of the day, per usual, is yesterday's White House press briefing, where just mere hours before, President Joe Biden announced his re-election campaign. Now, the question that we're going to see here at the beginning is Steve Portnoy of CBS News questioning her on the recent polls and kind of what the president's reaction is to all of it. And then we got a follow-up question from another reporter of which Green Jean-Pierre calls out Jackie Heinrich of Fox News on Twitter. We got it all packaged for today, folks. As always, hit that like and subscribe button. Leave us a short, sweet comment down below. The question of the day is, do you think Joe Biden will survive another four years in office? Like literally survive? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and roll it. Okay, I want to ask you broadly about the theme uh, that the president has been speaking of, not just uh, today, but since really since the start of the year, this idea of finishing the job. Um, can you explain what it means? I mean, you know, the president's powers are limited. His term in office is limited. What is the job? How could any president finish it? So, look, I, well, I, the president talked has talked about this many times, including members of his administration. You heard him talk about it during uh, the State of the Union, finishing finishing the job. Look, he ran and won on his agenda in 2020. And so he has, of course, used uh, similar language to update the American people as he works to fulfill his promises. The president believes uh, that he needs to continuing deliver to, to deliver for the American people. You hear us talk about his economic policy and how it has, uh, uh, because of the historic pieces of legislation that have gone through, uh, has how that has in in been able enabled him uh, to build an economy from the bottom up, middle out. Uh, so when you think about that, you think about uh, Medicare, Medicare being able to negotiate for lower drug drug uh, drug costs. You think about uh, the infrastructure, bipartisan infrastructure legislation. Let's not forget, in the last administration, Infrastructure Week was a joke. Uh, it was a tagline to make fun of, and this is a president uh, that's been able to make that happen. So that is, you know, getting the job done. Uh, what? Folks, I know we sit here each and every week, but what? What's the job? What has he done? I'll tell you what the man has done. Drive this country into the ground. Just you name it, he's done a poor job of doing it. I mean, he handed out stimulus checks like they were hotcakes. Now we got record inflation. We're still dealing with that, although they're going to peddle this whole aspect of, well, inflation's decreased, even though it's still up from when he was in office. You got gas prices going through the roof. You got China wanting to invade Taiwan more than ever, by the way. Russia invaded Ukraine because Joe Biden's weak and they know Joe Biden's not going to do anything. You have no ramifications or repercussions on China for releasing a, a pandemic upon the globe, of which we all know it came out of China, but they don't want to announce where exactly it came out in China. Who cares? There should be a penalty for what the Chinese did. Nothing's happened to them because, again, Joe Biden's in the pocket of the Chinese. There's no investigation on the Hunter Biden laptop. We were told by the FBI and others, which seems to be a cover-up story, by the way, that this was Russian disinformation, which it wasn't. No investigations there, but you're going to Donald, inv investigate Donald Trump for $130,000 of hush money. You got millions of people pouring across the border. We said the long game for that is, hey, have as many people pour across the border as you can under Joe Biden, probably another four years because Republicans can't get their crap together. So Democrats are probably going to win in 2024 once again. You're going to have millions upon millions of people pour across the border. So a Republican does take office. They're going to seize up the border. They're going to build a border wall, lock it up some way so people can come in legally and then talk about amnesty for the then 30 plus million people that are here illegally, and they're all going to vote Democrat. Let's lowball it. Say 75% are going to vote Democrat, which a Republican's never going to win office again, and it's going to take a century for that to happen. Now, you can look at the border. You can look at the economy. You can look at the job market. I mean, you name it. Joe Biden has done a terrible job with almost everything. I mean, inflation's out competing wages. But, you know, hey, he's going to get the job done. What is that? No idea. Because the leader of the free world's mouthpiece right here doesn't even know. Do you see her flipping through the notebook really quick to look for the answer of what the holistic view is of the job of the president, what he's going to do? She, you guys, let that sink in. That That is that that one right there is crazy, right? Hey, uh, you know, what job is he looking to finish? You don't even know as the press secretary what the president's goals are and just a holistic view of what his job was and what he would like to get done in four years. Like anything? Insane. Uh, and also finishing that up uh, by making sure that we're implementing those those laws, implementing those uh, uh, those important policies. Uh, again, that's going to change the lives of millions of Americans. And so you're oh, you're going to continue to hear him say this. He say he said this the past the past year or the past several months. Uh, and he believes it's a way to communicate with the American people. It's to communicate to let them know that we are we are. Con we are going to do the job and finishing up the agenda that he laid out in 2020.
One more question about the, the, the issue of the president uh, is 80 years old, this man never elected, would be 86 at the end of his second term. Our CBS News poll this morning shows that only 22 percent of Democratic leading voters are excited about the prospect of uh, President Biden running for re-election. I want to ask you this. As a young man, when he was coming of age, uh, the president who was inaugurated in 1961 said that it was time to, that a torch had been passed to a new generation. Why has President Biden not decided to pass the torch at this point? Why does he still want to hold it? So, look, a couple of things. I want to be... I'll tell you why. They have no bench, man. Democrats have nobody at all. Joe Biden is it. I mean, they tried Hillary. That one didn't work out. They were thinking, oh, well, maybe we'll pull ha Kamala out of the hat. Her, her ratings are lower than Joe's are. So who they have nobody. That's why they have to chauffeur out Joe Biden on a gurney. You guys, dead or not, they're going to chauffeur this guy out like it's weekend with Bernie. They're gonna, they'll are gonna they puppet him up. They'll strings attached and everything like they're already doing. They'll move his jaw to make it seem like he's talking. There's a reason why he doesn't do any press conferences. There's a reason why the press can't even get close enough to him because he's loony. He don't know what's going on. And they have the Democrats have the balls to sit there and go, hey, another four years, huh? Uh, another four years out of this guy. <laughs> really? <laughs> hey, look, look how fast he's declined in these two years. Folks, we still have another year and a half close to two years with this guy. It's taking forever. Very careful. Again, this is the 2024, uh, related to the 2024 uh, re-election, so I want to be very careful on, um, on that piece. But what I can say more broadly uh, is that, uh, you know, as it relates to your first part of the question, um, you know, when it comes to age, it's the same thing that we heard in 2020, right? We heard that over and over in 2020. And we were and, right. Uh, and, if you look at what the president has done this past two years, he's been able to deliver and get things done, right? Where Republicans. <laughs> hey, hey guys, age was a huge topic. Yes, and we were correct. We were correct in the mental decline. We were correct that the guy was gonna fumble through his words. We were correct that you hit him in the basement. There's a reason why you did that and now we all know. There's a reason why you won't release a cognitive test or even make him go through one. There's a reason why his physical took months for you to complete. There's a reason why you're not chauffeuring him out in front of the cameras all the time. We get it. You just don't want to admit it because you're covering it up and you have the entire government willing to cover it up for you along with the leftist progressive media. It's insane. And she'd go, well, well, he got things done. He hasn't gotten anything done. What has he done? There's a comment for you. List what Joe Biden has done in the comment section before or below. It'll probably be blank. It's insane. Joe Biden hasn't done anything other than sit up there and, and, and suck up taxpayer dollars. Republicans are trying to, Republicans in Congress, Republicans on the other side of Pennsylvania are, are trying to pull us back, not move us forward. And again, I talked about negotiating, Medicare being able to negotiate. I talked about the infrastructure legislation. Uh, I, you know, the, the Chips and Science Act, making sure that we're competitive against China and bringing manufacturing jobs here, which we have seen. 800,000 manufacturing jobs have been created under this president. So there is a whole a host of accomplishments that this president has been able to do. Uh, and that, you know. No, there hasn't. And there, you know what? Again, the, the, the big news of the day was her. Uh, talking about all of this, but also, again, the re-election campaign that he wants to run for president in 2024. And if you watch that video, you guys, um, there's nothing there. If he has all these accomplishments, all the video was, was just all these cut up of like Joe Biden, then it showed like Kamala Harris, and then it would show like these random people. A lot of it was people of color, right? Because they have to sit there and push a, a diversity ad campaign they got to show people color and the asians and the whites and the hispanics and all that stuff like it's a coca-cola commercial they have to pedal and push that or else they're racists but you know he doesn't have any accomplishments because they didn't highlight anything the whole video was showing january 6 the same clips that we've seen time and time again out of forty thousand hours they keep showing the same like two second clips of people storming the capitol breaking some windows and some like smoke bombs going off they don't have anything Literally anything to run on. It was just a montage of a bunch of crap and Joe Biden barely making it through his speech. It's insane. And the question rose up in the press briefing was, hey, is Joe Biden going to serve all eight years? Watch her response here. Does the yeah. president um, plan to serve all eight years? 
I'm not, I'm just not going to get ahead of the president. That's something for him to decide. I'm just not going to get ahead of it. And we're, there's a 2024 uh, campaign. Anything related to that, I would refer you to that. Go ahead, Gary. Layup! A layup of a question. Hey, do you think the guy's going to survive another eight years? Is he going to finish all eight? Nah, I don't want to get ahead of the guy. Oh, well, guys, Jesus. I, well, to be honest, man, I don't know if he's going to make it. I don't want to get ahead of him because we're only thinking another few years we're going to get out of this guy. So I don't know about a full another eight in totality. But, you know, so this sparked actually a lot of ears perked up going like, why can't you just answer a simple question in terms of, Hey, is the guy going to make it? So Jackie Heinrich went on Twitter and post first press briefing since Biden announced 2024 re-election bid. Question, does the president plan to serve all eight years? Karine Jean-Pierre, I'm not going to get ahead of the president. So Jackie Heinrich calls her out. And by the way, Jackie Heinrich hasn't got a question in for like almost two months now in uh, in the press briefing room. So Karine Jean-Pierre releases a Twitter statement saying, as you know, we take Following the law seriously. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is the same idea where Joe Biden says he takes uh, classified documents seriously, but they were in the garage with his Corvette. And then he was making it seem like it was it was there's more security there than Fort Knox as if like his garage is the most secure location in the entire planet. So she's going to take the law seriously. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. We don't believe that one bit. So she goes on to say, so I wanted to be sure that I didn't go into 2024 more than in a, it is appropriate under the law. But I can confirm that if reelected, POTUS would serve all eight years. Because there was a lot of pushback on that whole thing of her not answering it. I don't think the guy's going to make another eight years, you guys. Look at how they're hiding him now away from the press. I mean, Jackie Heiner talks about it on Fox News all the time. The reporters are getting frustrated in the room. I talked to some of them behind the scenes. They're frustrated. They know what's going on. They got to get other questions out. What is it it's supposed to be the question, same question every week of like, hey, where is the guy? Is he going to, are you actually going to give us a sit down interview? Are you going to put him on the podium to let us question unvetted questions to him? They're not going to do it. You're not going to see this guy for another two years, folks. If anything, he's going to be more hidden than ever, than ever. Let me know what you think about that one in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Bald Brad Show. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all our future content.